What about the continued abuse? We're talking kickings and beatings and draggings. How could this be acceptable? It's not. It is absolutely not acceptable. Then why does it keep going on if you have the eye in the sky everywhere? You know, I can't answer that. We're meeting that goal. You're not. We are meeting that. And people at home are supposed to believe you. Absolutely. But the fire marshal's absolutely wrong. And it's putting Houston kids at risk. His own records say so and show 116 schools, more than 20% under HFD's watch, not inspected in the past two years. What do all of these convicted criminals have in common? Yes, they all graduated from here, the Houston Police Academy. That's right, they're all cops. I think the public should and does expect a higher standard. But the I-team found hundreds of those closed out when no repair work was done. That's a bogus status. City Council Member C.O. Bradford. That's a misrepresentation. That's wrong. That's deceitful. That's misleading. So is there any explanation? We understand it was confusing. Frank uh, Carmody know, runs the city's 311 line where complaints come in. Was it misleading? Uh, we, we understand it was confusing. You don't call it misleading. Well, I, call it, I call it confusing. And when we tried to sort that confusion out... Shouldn't closed mean filled? Isn't it that simple? I, I, what it mean, remember, it means something different to us. Something quite different. Turns out closed to the city hasn't always meant filling the hole, but rather investigating to make sure it's a hole. Yep, it's a hole. Too often, most of your money never makes it to the charitable cause. It's like donating a cup of coffee to the Retired Troopers Association, but the troopers wind up with only this much Joe. Or ordering up a pizza for the Police Officers Safety Association. Your donation goes in, but what comes out is only a fraction to the charitable cause. Or how about giving a bicycle to the Law Enforcement Education Program? What ultimately makes its way to the charity? Only this. Call it the Disappearing Dollar Act. For every buck that's donated, outside for-profit fundraisers often pocket 80, 85, sometimes 90 percent. It's an abracadabra that leaves only a handful of pennies for the charity itself. You go hungry! Bow, bow, bow. The next time you go out to eat, the city of Houston says, don't worry. Any restaurant in Houston that's open for business is a safe place to eat. Bow, bow, bow. Since he sounds so certain, we had to be sure. They should feel confident. Yes. Do that again. You're comfortable with that statement. Yes. But hold on. When the I-team inspected city inspections at Houston restaurants, we found a big problem. The city's behind way behind. They're not following their own rules. And food safety experts say... And if they're not following their own rules, they're not protecting public health. The I-team analyzed months of records to unravel the alleged scheme. Officers would list one another as witnesses on speeding tickets so they could later testify in court. But the problem? Records show at the same exact time they also were writing tickets at a completely different location. Case in point, 12.52 in the morning. The same officer is listed on a ticket at 610 in Memorial and somehow also at I-10 in Gessner, miles away. It was just after daybreak at Bush Intercontinental Airport when something strange happened. Birds dropping mysteriously from the sky in distress. It was going round and round the circles like it was, you know how some of our is drunk or whatever, are they dizzy? Parking lot attendant Patrice Miles was talking about this seizure-like behavior and the beginning of a slow death. 300 bucks and a few days later, Molly the dog's diploma and official transcript arrived. Our clever pooch had graduated. Do you know who you're awarding diplomas to? A dog, ma'am. What do you have to say to that? But we found guards watching their cell phones. Here at Beverly Hills Park in Southeast Houston, not one or two, but three guards glued to them. You've been watching this for the last hour? Yes, I have. They weren't happy to see it. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Can you get that camera on my face? You don't know your name? I don't know my name. You've been constantly on your phones. Isn't there some lifeguarding to do here? Is guard right there? Oh, that guy right there? Yes, sir. But that guy is the same guy doing this earlier and the same guy oblivious to the front flip 
clips happening behind him. Obviously, lifeguards don't have eyes in the back of their heads. We shared our video with certified lifeguard instructor and pool safety expert Marty Wadsworth. If they're not paying attention, people can lose their life. They can be finicky. It's a huge hassle. Or snickety. It's frustrating. And downright bullheaded for their solar powered brain. They call these smart meters. These meters are not smart at all, they're dumb. That's the word on the street from those who tried feeding a Houston parking meter, only to end up fighting it. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> you don't want to say butt, do you? <laughs> No. More than 6,600 of you complained about parking meters since 2014. More than two-thirds of those complaints were for gobbling up your money and not printing a receipt. And the I-Team discovered the city's somewhat blind to it all. If there's a paper jam, you don't necessarily know back at headquarters, do you? No, we won't know that. The city won't know because the smart meters aren't smart enough to know when to send an alert. And that brings us to the most expensive chair in the entire city. So who has the priciest seat in the house? It belongs to Houston Police Chief Charles McClellan, way up there on the 16th floor. So what does it look like? Well... Can we see the chair? No, you can't. That's right. The top cop says you can't see it, even though you paid for it. A custom executive Stetson leather chair at $1,773 and 25 cents. Well, so you're a top cop, you get to buy a top dollar? Well, I, I think I deserve to sit in a nice, comfortable chair. As many hours that I sit in my chair each day. I do things that are appropriate and serve the, this university. But serving the University of Houston means $500 a night hotels when Wegline travels and renting luxury cars like Land Rovers and Audis. His justification? To navigate the steep hills on a San Francisco trip. The steep price? $180 a day. Or when doing research abroad, Wegline must fly first class because of back pain, this doctor's note claims. The price tag? Five grand to Calgary, for instance, or 9000 to Brazil. What that spells is excess, a vision of grandeur.